Okay, guys. Um, I already tried to start recording this and started taking some of these off, but then noticed that I was not recording it. So, today we are supposed to take these little greenhouse thingies off of here because the plants, as you can see, have started growing. There's one over there. It's growing, but it's not stuck out of the top yet. But that's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and get those all off. Can you take those off while I talk to him about this? And then we have, in these, there's 100 milliliters of purified water. And there was plant food in here. And what you're supposed to do is add 5 milliliters of this from each bottle. This one's like a yellow color. He, he was shaking that one up. You can go ahead and finish shaking it. Anyway, um, 5 milliliters per 4 liter of water. So that means we're going to need 20 milliliters of this. So a fourth of this bottle. He's going to pour down in that. And we've been letting the pump run and letting the light be on. And as we need to, we're going to let the light up because you can let it up further. But he's going to go ahead and put in the nutrients. Let me set the camera down. He's going to go ahead and put the nutrients in so that y'all can see that. Because I was trying to record it and I messed up somehow. So, um, let's see. It says, this says to put it in there. It says shake it up and then put 20 milliliters of each one through that water inlet. And that's the food for the garden. And um, as the mesclum grows, as it gets taller, we'll let this up, the lights. That's the way it says to do it anyways. What is it? It's just not mixing well? Mm -hmm. Let me see it while you do the other one. Yeah, fourth of the bottle. It's got like a little, make sure that's twisted on. Oh, you did it already. You did the thing. Never mind. Oop. What is it? What you open about? So here's this. Um, let's see. It says adjust the height of the light panel as a plant grows. Keep it 10 centimeters from the plant. So we might need to move it down. What do you think? 10 that, centimeters? Yeah, that's way more than 10 centimeters, isn't it? Yeah. Way more. So let me see how often you're supposed to do this. It doesn't say if you're supposed to put more of that in or not. Okay. How often should I add nutrients? There's no need to add nutrients before seed germination, after seed germination. Please ensure the water is at 4 liter max mark and add 20 milliliter. You may observe the water level every week and add nutrients and water again if the water level drops. Okay, so for each 1 liter of water you add, you add 5 more milliliters of the nutrients. So if the water goes down to 3, we add a little bit more of each one of these. So, so we'll just watch the water and as it goes, like as we need to, we'll add water and nutrients so it's ready to just it's just ready now to just grow and have some plants soon just going to show you all a little better well some of them i don't know if i should take that off or not because the way it's growing like i said this one you can't see it but it is there it's germinated but it's growing 
and these little things are so flimsy that the plants will push like that was being pushed up too but I don't I'm not going to take them off because I don't think you're supposed to I'm just going to let them be for now I guess eventually we will but that's a little update on the garden for today Was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you It struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day Like a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right Letting you go Cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me. No, it was a mistake. Letting you go. Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart. You're still here. Your face in my dreams I can't escape you like a movie on repeat the scenes just go on I'm here in 
your voice in my dreams I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me Tell me it's over now. Don't tell me it's over now. Don't tell me it's over. Cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me. No, it was a mistake. Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you And it breaks my heart You're still here though we're apart Hey guys, I haven't recorded in a couple, well, a few days. Um, we recorded a little bit about the garden, which you've already should have seen. And then Jeff did some recording of some stuff he did, which was um, cleaning the kitchen and cutting up the uh, beef that we got. And... Um, Today is Monday. That's what today is for me. For you, it's Thursday. Um, and I kind of want to show you the setup that Jeff has for me while he's at work. And um, talk to you a little bit about the last couple days and do the Bible study. So let me turn the camera around and I want to show you kind of like how he's got everything set up in here. Which is kind of neat. <laughs> Okay, so I can walk around. I'm actually, I was watching Fallon's video and decided to go ahead and do this now. Um, I was watching it while I was eating my, should have been breakfast, but I am way late. Anyways, that's my Bible study uh, basket thing y'all saw me do. And uh, where my planners are. And then that other basket's right there with that pillow. I sometimes use that pillow. And over here he's got a cooler with, it had milk in it. And some water and different things. Some I think there's a Dr. Pepper in there. And then over here, he's got a snack basket <laughs> that he set up for me. I don't know what all's in there. The only thing I've taken out of there is my cereal this morning. He's got this big cup was full. Now it's not. And that one was full of water. It's not anymore. Um, so got that water for me, which, like I said, he has water in there. And um, I can walk and stuff. Let me turn the camera back around. Get where y'all can see me. I can walk and stuff like that. I could go to the kitchen and get my own water and all that stuff. But he doesn't really want me to with the cat. Like, he doesn't want me toting anything with the cat. Because she sometimes gets under my feet. And if I'm not holding anything, it'll probably be easier. I don't know. Um, but I did want to talk to y'all some about what I've been doing, or what we've been doing. Let's see, let's start with, what's the last day I actually recorded that y'all saw? Thursday. So Friday, um, we went and got my hair trimmed, and it was a big trim. Because my hair was a mess. And we went and got it trimmed. My cousin's a hairstylist. And um, she is who my sister-in-law goes to. And so 
We went and got it done because I could see it and do that and it would get me out of the house. And we also went and um, I don't remember if it was that day or no, yeah, it had to be that day. We went back to Bucks just because I needed to walk. And like I told y'all, I need to walk on flat surfaces. Well, we went to Bucks to walk around to look at the things they had. Um, well, we went to another store first. A home outlet to see what they had. Like, for the mobile home. Like, sinks and stuff like that. And, um, their prices weren't really that much better than Lowe's and Home Depot. So, I mean, they were okay prices, but they didn't have much of a selection. So, we were just, we just went in there. We weren't going in there to actually buy anything. But we went to Bucks, which is that bargain outlet. Let me see if I can sit the camera down. I probably can't. Not without it being too low. It's going to be too low. Let's see. Yeah, I can do that. Um, we went to Bucks Bargain Outlet. It may be crooked. If I'm crooked, I'm sorry. I know that it's pointing up. I know that. And it's a weird angle. And I'm sorry. But that's, that's just what it's going to have to be for now. Anyway. We went there mainly just for me to walk around. But also because everything in their store is 50% off of whatever their marked price is. Unless it's marked differently. There's a, just a couple of things that are marked, you know, price as marked, um, which they're still super cheap. Like, there were, I think it was six or eight cans of spray paint for $10. That's cheap. Um, we didn't buy that, but, you know, it's just an example. Um, anyway, we went there, and they had... Um, doorknobs for like, well, all sorts of doorknobs for 75% off, and they had light fixtures for 75% off. So, we got doorknobs, every one of them we needed for the mobile home, because we wanted to replace all of them, every one of them for less than $3 a piece, and she didn't charge us the right way. She charged us for the cheapest ones. Some of them should have been like $4. But she charged us the cheaper price. So that means we even got a better deal. On Some of them we wanted to lock. You know, like our bedrooms. We want locking in the bathroom. We want a lock, you know. So we got an extra super deal for those. So we got doorknobs. And we'll, we'll show those to y'all at some point. And we also got um, some ceiling, well, some light fixtures for our bathroom. And I really wish that I would have felt like it and we could have went ahead and got light fixtures for every room. Because that was a super great price. We got light fixtures that are normally $50 for like $15. And they're brand new. It's not like it's, you know something used or something. They're brand new in the box. So we got two light fixtures for the main part of the bathroom of our bathroom and then the light fixture for the water closet or the toilet room, whatever you want to call it. We got doorknobs. We got some more things too it seems like but I can't remember what it was now. So we did that and like I said, my doctor told me to walk. So it's good for me to walk. And then on Saturday, um, maybe it was Saturday we went to that other place. Yeah, it was Saturday we went to the other place. We didn't do that on Sun we didn't do that on Friday. We only went to Bucks on Friday. Yeah. We didn't go to the other place on Saturday. Oh, on Friday. Okay. My days are mixed together. Um, <clears throat> I'm still coughing up that anesthesia stuff, it seems like. It's weird. Uh, I, I always do, it seems like, for days, like a week or two after I have surgery, there'll be stuff. But anyway, 
Saturday, we went to Lowe's and Home Depot. We didn't buy anything to, from either one, and we went to the other store. We didn't buy anything from there. We were really just trying to, just walking around and, you know, just letting me have some exercise where that the ground was not crazy because our sidewalks were terrible, like I told you. Plus, it's air-conditioned, and it has been pretty warm here. Really warm. It's been in the 70s, like mid-70s some of the time, which is not terrible. It's not horrible, but when you're healing from something, you don't want to get too hot. And if you're walking around and you're in pain, you're usually going to get hot faster, it seems like. At least that's my experience. So anyway, um, we didn't buy anything from Lowe's or Home Depot or the other store. We just went and looked around. We're also looking for Jeff a Brad Nailer that's a battery operated one. Um, <clears throat> I guess it'll be ours, but we were looking for that. So that's what we've done so far the last few days. And then yesterday it rained all day. I did not go anywhere. In fact, almost all day long I slept. I walked around the house when I did walk. But, like I said, I don't like walking around things. I like to be able to just walk and not think about, you know, where I'm walking much. I mean, yeah, I think about where I'm walking in public, but it's a little bit different than in your house. But, anyway, yesterday I just decided that I was going to just lay around in the bed and not do any extra walking plus it was just so dreary outside and it was raining all day long I just decided to hang out in the bed honestly I feel like that was a mistake because today I haven't wanted to get up um today I have been more sore than what I was the other days so I'm thinking yes yesterday was a mistake so today I have gotten up and walked around some and um <clears throat> just around the house i'm not doing like i'm not getting up a lot because jeff's not here noah is here but jeff's not here in fact noah scared me this morning <laughs> he thought i was supposed to take my medicine at a certain time and i was asleep and he came in here and said mama <laughs> you scared the poopies out of me i was like what in the world but it was fine but he was checking on me he used to make sure i'm okay and doing what i'm supposed to be doing but, um, I've been feeling okay. I've been doing what the doctor said. I've been walking. I've been doing, you know, um, resting and taking my medicine and being very well taken care of and very well, much spoiled. <clears throat> I have, like I said, not been recording anything except I recorded that little bit of, uh, the garden thing and Jeff recorded what he recorded so I am going to try to get back to recording whatever I'm doing now but I don't know what I'll be doing like I'm not gonna be oh Jeff also put chili in the crock pot this morning one of the freezer chilies I had he had it all ready to go he went ahead last night and washed the cans and put them into the pot into the crock and he went ahead and put the other that I had made that was in, from the freezer. He put it in there and had everything in that and had the crock pot sitting on the counter, uh, the, you know, the part, the electric part. And he just stuck it in there this morning and put it on low. And it's in there cooking now. Um, so we have supper. So... Let me kind of, I'm going to try to kind of show, I'm in one of my little gowns, so I don't want to show y'all, which it covers, like, all the way up to there, so it's, it's like a tank top, though, and it's, you know, I don't like being in front of y'all in tank tops. I haven't brushed my hair today, but as you can see, it is shorter, but all that that was down there was stringy and unhealthy, um, she took about two inches off the back of it, so it's about two inches shorter all around. But then, um, I told her to do long layers. So that's what she did. And it feels a lot healthier than it did. She cut it fast, too. I went, we went to her salon and got it done. Um, 
So anyway, I guess that's a brief catch up of all the things we've been doing. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and get to the Bible study. Okay, so this one is week 38 and it's God Kept Me. And I really hope my battery holds out. We were supposed to read Jeremiah 16 through 37. Um, it shouldn't be very long that this, you know, this shouldn't take long to do. But so in Jeremiah 18, God told the prophet Jeremiah to go down to the potter's house because he had something to show him. Jeremiah was discouraged about what he saw in the people of Judah because no matter how much he preached and prophesied, they just weren't getting it. They were determined to do what they wanted to do, sin and worship idols. The Lord wanted to help Jeremiah and bring up some understanding to the matter so he told Jeremiah to go to the potter's house and w watch how he worked. Jeremiah obe obeyed the Lord's instruction and saw the potter working with a piece of clay. However the clay got marred in verse 4 it says that and the project he was working on didn't turn out the way he hoped it would. The Hebrew word for marred is nishk nishkat. I may not be saying it right which means spoiled, ruined, or corrupt. So the pot clay the potter was working on became spoiled. It was ruined. But what did the potter do? He didn't throw it away. He kept it and made it into another vessel. When we look back over our lives, that's what God has done for us. He has kept us. Yes, we can be like the piece of clay sometimes. We spin out of control. We become corrupt or spoiled, tainted, and in many ways ruined. Because of our sinful nature, we are flawed beings. But in spite of our errors and flaws, God keeps us because he loves us. We are sometimes rebellious and always subject to error. However, God in his sovereignty does not throw us away. <clears throat> Instead, because of the saving grace of his son Jesus, we are re remade for the master's use. He keeps us, scoops, scoops us up and makes us into another vessel. Just think about where we would be if he didn't keep us, if he didn't use us anyway, if he just threw us out. We'd be so lost. We would be still lost in that place where we were. And he, he doesn't throw us away. He keeps us and he molds us into something new if we allow it. And I know I've said it um, lots of times, God is a gentleman. He is not going to force you to do anything at all. But if he had not, if we had not allowed him, if we had not come to him and asked him to mold us, to change us, to turn us into something else, where would we be? We'd be nowhere. He kept us. He could have thrown us away. He could have just said, okay, she's too far gone. I'm done with her. I, I can't do anything with that one. That one's just done. And just let us go. Let us be out there in the wilds and just throw us to the curb, as they say. Just put us out there like they do trash. And um, instead, he took us, he picked us up, and he, he molds us into something new. We're a new creature in Christ if we allow that. And I am very grateful that he kept me, that he decided I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep on working on this one. I'm going to mold her into something better. And I am so grateful that he's still molding me. He is not done. I am still in the potter's hands. And we all can be as long as we choose to be. It's all our choices. It's our um, decision of what we do and how much we let God do with us. And the reason why I say that is because I can be... Um, and as I say, I can be the, the one with the milk and never get to the meat. I can stay there for years and years and years because I never do pick up my Bible. I never do study. I never do read. I never do learn more about God. I never get to know Him. I never get to the point of a relationship with Him. I could be that. And I could be the small little lump of clay that is barely molded at all. Or I could keep going and I could get know, to know God some and I could start helping with his kingdom and doing things that he says and I could start working in that kingdom. 
and I could just do it just to, just enough to get me to where I'm feeling better about myself and feel feeling better about the world and feeling better about you know things around me but I'm not there I'm not in that place where that God really wants me to be I'm not completely molded into the thing he wants me to be yet but I, I'm studying my word sometimes. I'm still, you know, picking up my Bible. It's not as dusty as it used to be. I can just every once in a while, you know, pick it up and read a little bit and go on about my life, and I'll be okay. I'm just still that small vessel, though, that is still not finished. But I could pick up my Bible every day. <clears throat> I could study the Word every day. I could pray. I could get to know God. I could become that beautiful vessel, that beautiful beautiful vase that he uses to pour out blessings on others I could be that one that he chooses to help with others like I could be pouring into the, his kingdom as much as he's pouring into me I could be pouring out if that makes sense I don't know if it makes sense or not but as long as I am staying in the word and I am learning from God and I am trying to do his will that is how much I'm going to be like however much I get from him I can pour back out if that makes sense however much that I study and I learn I can pour back into someone else's life like if someone comes to me and asks me well what does the Bible say about this I may not know offhand like automatically I may not know but I, I know how to go find it um Whereas before, I wouldn't have known how to go find it because I didn't know how to search the Bible. I didn't know how to study the Bible. I didn't know how to find things there. But now I can um, because I've allowed God to pour into me so I can pour into someone else. And, you know, somebody might say, well, what does the Bible say about, you know, I don't know. I can't think of any specific thing right now. That's... I have had some issues with thinking lately with the medicine. Uh, what does the Bible say about surgery? Should we do it? Maybe, yeah, you you do have that, but um, it, but there's there's instances in the Bible where that God heals people instantaneously, and there's also instances where He uses someone else to to heal them. I'm not saying you've got to go have surgery. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying. I can go find in the Bible where the, the Bible says it is okay to go have surgery. or I, In my opinion, it, it, it is. But what I'm saying is I could help someone through that situation. Or if someone asks me about, you know, what does the Bible say about certain foods? There's lots of places in the Bible that talk about different kinds of foods. Um, I could also, somebody might say, well, you eat pork. The Bible says don't eat pork. Yeah, the Old Testament does say that, but then the Old Testament, the New Testament says something different. I could go back and find things because I have gone further with the potter than just being that lump of marred clay. I have become more because I'm allowing him to mold me. Now, does that mean that everything I have said in the last 10 years that I have thought is correct I don't know but I know that God will correct me if I need it and show me what's right and wrong as long as I allow it but if I don't allow it that's when it's going to be problems and the only way I can allow it is if I stay in his word if I keep praying if I keep a communication with him and I allow him to mold me now, I don't know if any of this made sense. I feel like I kind of ran away and talked about, you know, just, just jabbered. Um, but like I said, the medicine is making me a little odd. I'm not high. I promise you, I am not. I, um, I did want to also tell y'all, I still do have pain even with the medicine. I could take more, but I choose not to. Because the pain is tolerable. It's not like excruciating. So... Um, definitely it's not doing anything more for me, the medicine's not, than what it should be. It's just that after, any time after I've had surgery, I, and I have to take this kind of medicine, my words don't work right. My mouth does not line up with my head. <laughs> Sometimes I'm thinking of a word and I cannot get it out of my mouth. But anyway, 
I did want to just do the Bible study with y'all today. I hope it made some sense. I hope y'all got something from it. I hope that y'all are being that vessel that God is molding into what he wants you to be. I hope you're not going to stop allowing him to mold you, that you're going to allow him to keep doing it. And um, you'll get to the point of that beautiful vessel that he wants you to be. So the next time we're supposed to read Jeremiah 38 through 52 and Lamentations 1 through 5. I will try to remember to put that on the screen. I did not remember last time. I may not remember this time, but I will have it in the description box. Jeremiah 38 through 52 and Lamentations 1 through 5. Purpose and process is the next one. Um, my plan is to try to start recording every day again. I'm not doing much, so I may not record every day. I may record every other day until I get to the point where I'm doing more. Um, I can move around some, but it's only limited. I don't, like when I'm walking, I might walk just a few minutes, a day, like some a day. I'm not, I'm not up a lot um, because I'm not supposed to be. So I'm not doing anything really other than hanging out in this bed and I'm kind of thinking that I want to graduate from the bed. <laughs> it's a comfortable bed but I'm tired of being here. But uh, I don't know how, I, I don't know if sitting in the recliner or anything like that would even be comfortable. I've only sat, I sat in my desk chair for a minute, for a couple minutes and that's it. And I didn't, I don't even know why, I think I just sat down somewhere. I don't even remember why I sat down there. Um, but uh, sitting is is okay. It's tolerable. Laying down is tolerable. I, I'm sleeping well. I am um, I am still hurting from the surgery, but I don't want to take more medicine because I don't want to be out all the time. Um, and what I am doing is okay. It's, it's, you know, I'm allowed to do it. Like, everything that I'm allowed, I'm doing, I'm allowed to do, which I'm not doing anything. I'm not even bathing myself, which is so weird. I'm not dressing myself, which is really weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jeff is doing all that stuff. So, he's helping me with all of it. Because I can't bend down. Like, I couldn't bend down. I've been wearing dresses. That way it just goes over my head. But I couldn't bend down to pull things up. Or anything like that. So, right now I'm accepting the help. And I'm grateful for it. <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. But, yeah. Um. I guess that's all I have for today. I hope any, all of this made sense. I don't know if it did or not. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try to start, I want to start filming every day again, but I don't know. I, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. Maybe some little something. I had planned on recording every day, but I couldn't, like, I just couldn't think of what to record. So I just put something on the community tab every other, every couple days or something. So, yeah, I don't know how it's going to work out, but. We'll see. I'm hoping to get back to my normal schedule, though, after this. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the prayers, the well wishes, and all the love you've given me through, through the surgery time and all before and everything. And um, I will see y'all next time. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell to so be notified whenever I upload. Share with a friend if you think that this would be helpful to them. And most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.